Newfoundland Dogs in Art and Literature Newfoundland dogs have long been recognized for their immense size, strength, and gentle nature. They are not only beloved family pets, but have also played important roles throughout history. Their presence in art and literature has captured the hearts of many, showcasing the unique bond between humans and these magnificent animals. In this article, we will explore the depiction of Newfoundland dogs in art and literature and delve into the various ways they have been immortalized. 1. The Newfoundland Dog in Art Newfoundland dogs have been a favorite subject for many artists throughout history, and their portrayal in art can be traced back to the 18th century. Sir Edwin Landseer, a 19th century British painter, is particularly renowned for his paintings of Newfoundland dogs. His masterpiece, A Distinguished Member of the Humane Society, depicts a Newfoundland dog carrying a life buoy, showcasing their heroic instincts and rescue capabilities. Landseer's paintings have immortalized the breed, contributing to their iconic image in popular culture. Apart from Landseer, other artists have also been inspired by Newfoundland dogs. The breed's massive size and gentle demeanor make them a captivating subject for portraiture and landscape paintings. Whether in majestic pose or engaged in playful activities, Newfoundland dogs continue to be featured in various art forms, embracing their beautiful and gentle nature. 2. Newfoundland Dogs in Literature Beyond the realm of art, Newfoundland dogs have made their mark in literature as well. They have been featured in various novels, short stories, and children's books, eluding their loyal and caring nature. One such notable example is J. M. Barry's Peter Pan. Nana, the loyal and caring dog Nanny, is portrayed as a Newfoundland dog, emphasizing their protective and nurturing instincts. In addition to fiction, Newfoundland dogs have also been subjects of non-fiction literature. Many books have been dedicated to the breed's history, training, and their roles in various aspects like search and rescue missions or water rescue operations. These books not only provide valuable information to dog enthusiasts, but also shed light on the breed's exceptional abilities and the deep bond they share with humans. Three Newfoundland Dogs in Film Newfoundland dogs have also made appearances in various films, further cementing their iconic status. One of the most notable films featuring a Newfoundland dog is The Little Mermaid. Max, the loyal companion of Prince Eric, showcases the breed's friendly and protective nature. The film's portrayal of the Newfoundland dog has captured the imagination of many and has helped in spreading awareness about this remarkable breed. For Newfoundland dogs as working dogs, Apart from their representation in art, literature, and films, Newfoundland dogs have a long-standing history as working dogs. They have been used in various capacities, such as water rescue operations and fishing assistance. Their powerful build, webbed feet, and natural swimming abilities make them excellent water rescuers, capable of saving lives in dangerous situations. Their contribution as working dogs cannot be undermined, and their portrayal in various forms of media has only amplified their significance. Newfoundland dogs have made a profound impact not only as beloved family pets, but also in the realms of art and literature. Their iconic image has been captured by renowned artists such as Sir Edwin Landseer, and their loyal and gentle nature has been immortalized in various classic works of literature and films. Their portrayal in different forms of media has brought attention to their exceptional abilities as working dogs while emphasizing their role as loyal companions to humans. Newfoundland dogs continue to inspire and captivate through their depiction in art and literature, showcasing the unique bond they share with humans.